Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and I am here once again with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial. So, what are we going to cover today, you might ask? Well, my lovely viewer, uh, I'm sure that you've already seen the title of this YouTube video, and that's probably why you've clicked on it. Uh, we are going to look at setting up airports. So, uh, any airport or airbase in DCS uh, can have uh, different setups applied to it. Uh, so first of all, if we click on the airport name, you will see that the very basic thing that we have is we can change between neutral, blue, and red. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, uh, if you are on Blue 4, uh, you can land at a neutral airbase and you can get fuel, uh, but you cannot uh, get any weapons because they are neutral and they're not going to just give you weapons. Uh, you can land at a red airbase, however, it probably won't do refueling or rearming for you. Uh, likewise, the opposite if you're on red, uh, and if you're neutral, then uh, I think you can just get fuel at both blue and red. So, that's the first thing, very important. You can click full info here, and uh, when you come down to the full info uh, information, it will tell you uh, what kinds of aircraft are available, uh, it will tell you what kinds of liquid that they have, and it will tell you what kinds of equipment that they have. Now, why is this important? I might. I, I hear you ask. Well, first of all, um, if we go to aircraft, uh, you can see aircraft, liquids, and equipment, they have each got a little tick box saying unlimited aircraft, or unlimited liquids, or unlimited munitions. So, I think you can gather what we're going to talk about here, is that if you take unlimited aircraft and you untick it, suddenly, uh, we can change the numbers of any aircraft that land here, and pretty much what happens is, if you were to crash, uh, so so if this is your home base at Shaira Airport here, uh, if you were to crash your aircraft, uh, and so you've you've spawned in, you've got one life there, you fly out, you crash, you respawn. Let's say you were flying an A10C2, uh, that would go down from 100 aircraft to 99 aircraft when you respawn back in. Uh, that is because you are grabbing another aircraft and using that. So, pretty simple, to be fair, is every time that you die or you lose an aircraft and you respawn in, it'll take an aircraft off this list. So, if you lower the number of aircraft in here, if you were to lower this to one, then you would start with one life, you can crash and you can get another aircraft back, and then if you were to fly out and crash that one, no more aircraft are left, that's it for that set of aircraft. So... That's a nice, simple, easy one. You can untick that. Obviously, you can just go through here and just set that to zero all the way through, like if you wanted to. You know, so if you wanted to have absolutely no respawns whatsoever, that's very much an option. Uh, I'm just going to click unlimited aircraft. So it, you have unlimited aircraft now. If I untick it, you no longer have unlimited aircraft for any of these top ones here. That's the way it works. Cool. Next, liquids. Quite simple exactly the same you can untick this and it'll tell you how many tons of jet fuel they have or how many tons of gasoline they have or you know any of this stuff uh so i mean i do i need to elaborate about that you know if you want to get more fuel and they run out of fuel you will not have fuel so nice and simple there uh equipment then um now this one is the one that i think is most important is that basically when it comes to changing the uh, the equipment levels, uh, you might want to make it so that your mission is set up so that your you know your aircraft options will only give you uh, you know like iron bombs. You know, let's say that you only get iron bombs in the mission because that's all that your government will allow you to drop on the enemy. For example, you know, I don't know if if that that might be the setting that you have for a mission. It might be that you know. The, you're all out of AMRAMs in your campaign or something like that. All you want to do is you want to unclick munitions and then suddenly you've got the option of flicking through any of these. Now, I find that what's easier to do is to just hit fill column down here so you can change the entire column to zero just by clicking fill column like that and funnily enough it will change all of the settings of the column to zero. 
you will however have to go back and manually change so for example if you want to change your to missiles well you know, any amrams you want to add 20 amrams you've got to come in here and do that manually you know if you want to do that there or if you want to decide about the phoenix missiles or maybe we should only give them eight or something like that then you've got to come in and click through and do them manually oh well aim sevens well there should be a lot more of them let's give them like 50 of those you know so you can make your decisions based on that but obviously that will uh, give you a uh, an option to select for what uh, what loadouts people can change to in the mission. Great. So we've done all that. That's cool. Fine. So we've changed the, it all to zero or whatever. Now, operating level percentage. So this is a bit complicated, but basically, if you take the maximum number that the airbase has, so let's set one of these to 100. So the airbase will have 100 AMRAMs, as we can see up at the top here, 100 um, of the uh, advanced medium range air-to-air -air missiles. So uh, they will hand out any of these missiles to aircraft upon request up until they reach 10% of their operating level. So that basically means that they will hand out 90 of those AMRAMs, but then to the point where they get to 10%, they will then keep the rest in reserve. That means that they won't be dispensed. You can add 0% in, which means that, you know, it's a last ditch, like, you know, shit, the enemy's coming, let's just chuck all our missiles out at the enemy so that, you know, like, we can just get rid of all of them. Uh, but that's basically how that works. So that pretty much covers that. Now, up at the top here, um, you have uh, the option to copy to other air bases very useful if you want to keep it the same without having to click back and forth between the two air bases going oh, okay do i have the right number of air to air missiles to have the right number of bombs to have the right or whatever so what you do is you can just come over to the top here and say well you know uh uh abu al dahur let's change that one so that it's got the exact same air to air uh equipment and fuel there for example uh and Basically, that's just going to add in the exact same number for um, air-to-air munitions, any normal equipment, uh, and any liquids or fuel. That, that's it. That's that's the way it works. So um, you can add suppliers in as well. Um, the way that that normally works is you will uh, you'll pick like that and then click another airbase. Basically, they will. Um, you know, they will act as if you fly a cargo aircraft from one airbase to another, it will supply this airbase, which is awesome, right? I know. Um, so basically, if this airbase is, is low, uh, then we can get a shipment over from one to the other. I need to investigate fully how that works, and then I'll get back to you guys on that, on, on making that work uh, and adding that to your missions so that you can have maybe a long mission that you can run as a campaign um, that will work like that. Basically, that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, the, the obvious stuff is that up here you've got the tower frequencies. Uh, these are all different frequencies, backups or whatever. And they will all s uh, they should also have guard frequency, um, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, and then the other thing is that if your airport is TACAN capable, so let's see if we can find one that will be TACAN capable. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, here we are. Is that right? No. Uh, let's quickly zip over here. One of these will have Takan. Here we are. If you have a Takan capable airbase, you can click on the name there. Uh, let's just let's just close this quickly. You can click on the name there. Uh, and again, you've got the tower stuff. But then at the end here, you've got the uh, the Takan tower, and that tells you channel 21 X-ray is the inbound uh, for Insulik. Bam! There you are. So. Uh, just to recap, we've gone through setting up an airbase as to what coalition you want it to be, uh, how much equipment you want it to have, uh, and uh, if you want to have it supplied from another airbase. Uh, so hopefully that's been a useful tutorial for you guys. Uh, th thank you very much for all your time. I hope you all have a lovely day, and uh, we might catch up in the next video. Um, please do uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions. I, I do read the comments, in fact I try and reply to pretty much all of them at the moment, unless it gets overwhelming, um, but yeah.
Cheers, guys. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye.